Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The Russians report that one of their ships was attacked in Sevastopol by an anti-ship missiles coming from <clears throat> Ukraine. I have here three articles and a map to show you what happened, discuss the consequences, uh, the aftermath, and uh, where actually occurred, if it occurred. There are some videos, according to the Ukrainians, posted on Telegram with a burning ship. So let's start with uh, the Ukrainian uh, outlet, Ukrainska Pravda, and then we're going to go to Ukraine Form, then we're going to go to Sputnik. Here, Ukrainska Pravda. Russians claim their ship was attacked in Crimea. Fire occurred. They have a video. We're not going to play the video because YouTube uh, is just a platform, YouTube, okay? But they have uh, community uh, guidelines which are, we're not part of the community guidelines. Russian media and telegram channels reported explosions in the city of Sevastopol in Russian-occupied Crimea on the morning of April 21st. The Russians later claim that a ship had been attacked by a missile. A missile, one missile. Details, reports online indicate that the Crimean bridge has been closed to traffic and explosions have been heard in Sevastopol Bay, explosions, plural. People say they are see, seeing a lot of smoke. Russian occupied authorities have insisted a missile, a missile, warning in Crimea. It says followers on the Telegram channels report that fire engines are rushing to the north of Sevastopol. So something happened over there. It says here, Rezvoyanev, uh, Rezvoy. Rezvozdaev later claimed that, and I'm quoting, the military repelled an anti-ship missile attack on one of the ships. A fire was supposedly caused by falling sharpened shrapnel and has been extinguished. Videos of smoke rising from amidst the ship have been posted online. I'm not going to play this one with this, uh, actually, what could be, right? Nothing special here. Вот только что мимо нас зайдет. 200 метров ракета ебала в пароход. Он видишь горит. Так что у меня еще не второй день рождения. Вот такая вот херня, вот так мы работаем. Hmm. They're laughing, so must be fun. So this is the first article. The second article comes from Ukraine Forum, and it says vessel on fire in occupied Crimea, Sevastopol. So let's look a little bit uh, where this Sevastopol is located. This is Ukraine as it is today. This is where the front line is, the line of contact between the Russians and the Ukrainians or Russians and NATO. This is the Crimean Peninsula. This is the Black Sea, Sea of Azov. This is uh, Kherson Oblast. This is Crimean Peninsula. Sevastopol is right here where the mighty Russian Black Sea fleet was located. Now, it was dislocated and moved right here. So from here, now it's here. Uh, the Russian fleet, Novorossiysk. Let's go back to the article. Let's see if these guys say anything new and then we're going to move into uh, the Russian. This is the same video, what the Russians report. Debris caused a small fire. I don't think those debris were, but anyway, I think it was a hit, but that's me. Sputnik. 
Russian fleet repels anti-ship missile attack in Russia's Sevastopol. Beautiful. So this is usually the, this is where they are located, the ships from previous videos, as far as I remember. So this here is is right here. This little cove, or how you want to call it, here. This is the where are you? Here, that little thing. So this is south, and this is east. So that's south. That's south, and this is east towards Romania. And all right, so let's see what these guys are saying. Crew of a Russian military vessel in the city of Sevastopol have repelled an anti-ship missile attack, followed by a brief fire. And I'm quoting this morning, service people abroad, abroad, aboard a vessel in the northern side repelled an anti-ship missile attack. The fallen debris caused a small fire which was quickly brought under control, end quote. The governor said. The governor has called on the city residents to only trust information from official sources. No information about injuries or damages have been reported. So, <clears throat> what do we know? Certainly, an attack occurred. Now, it was with uh, anti-ship missiles or with something else. Uh, that's debatable. That's what the Russians claim. But the fact is, the attack occurred. Missiles, missiles, not drones. Uh, the other one is something called fire. Or was set on fire by the missile, by the debris. We don't know why. I mean, you don't want to trust uh, the details coming from these guys. The Russians claim that they um, downed the incoming missile, the anti ship missiles. Kirsch Bridge, which is on the other side of the island, on the eastern side of the island, was closed for traffic. That means they were um, expecting or getting ready for something uh, to occur over there and it will occur over there so um, successful even if it just got fire still successful to a certain extent they didn't tell uh, didn't tell us any uh, more details the magnitude of the fire or the damage or anything as they said about injuries no information about damages no information i don't know what vessels what warships um the Russians still have in Sevastopol. I don't think they have, they have any. All they have is something that's decommissioned, something that's in uh, repairs, something in something like that. As far as I know, there's no warship, Russian warship in Sevastopol uh, functional or you know, something that you can say, now you go and launch some uh, caliber cruise missiles at Ukraine. All of them are in Novorossiysk or wherever they are deployed on duty, on combat, combat duty. So the fact is, something happened, missile, uh, the Ukrainians. <sighs> when these guys are telling us about the total war, all war between these, I would have expected personally, but hey, that's me. I don't know, about 300 missiles going down there. Like in the Second World War kind of, uh, you know, attack, bombardment. One missile in three weeks. It's like, I don't know, it's raining once, uh, once a month or something. I, I don't know. I mean, you can say, well, it's just pinpointed. Is this because of lack of resources? Is it because um, they don't need to? It's park pinpoint one. But the same, the, I, I, don't, uh, I don't get it. I mean, not, I don't get it. It's just something is fishy. The same with the Russian, uh, Russian attacks. Oh my God, they sent a massive drone attack, 30 drones. 30 drones, and what, weekly? On a weekend, as they usually do? 30 drones? What about, and I'm not, uh, what about, and I'm not uh, promoting that, what about uh, carpet bombing like the Americans did to, I don't know, Dresden, for instance? At the end of the Second World War, not even the end, but anyway, at the end. Where, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Is it 
efficient war? Is it efficient because they don't have the resources? Is it efficient because they are smarter? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Well, they sent a massive uh, missile attack on uh, Crimea. Uh, five drones and uh, two missiles. Ooh. This is something that d doesn't... Uh, doesn't and they tell they tell us oh it's one thousand Russians uh, were killed uh, the Ukrainians claim yesterday in the I don't know Avdivka front or something Shasiriyar Shasiriyar really and you send one missile a month how, how is that and the same oh uh, six hundred Ukrainians were clear, uh, killed in uh, the past twenty four hours in the I don't know, Bakhmut uh, front six hundred people. In one day, yeah, there's like Second World War almost. But this guy sent, oh my God, it's a massive missile attack. 90 missiles, 90. And the other guys were coming with hundreds of uh, bombers in one raid. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still uh, waiting for more information to really uh, express a uh, conclusion that I, you know, I have at least 95% certainty that I think that's the way it is. Not good. Not good. Not. It's fishy. That's all. Fishy. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.